Oh, look who's here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Huh? Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs? Especially hot dogs. Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate-sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. Now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? A uh, gesundheit. Uh -oh. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, 
This tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. <laughs> After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, take a sock and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds. And then, some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass. This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind, at least we got the two. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fish bone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch, or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no, he thinks I'm a mouse. Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Wait, Jeeves, do you see what I see? There's a dog in a basket, in the water. Oh, we gotta save him. And by we, I mean you, Jeeves. I'll whip up my very own doggy pocket. I'll call you Seiko. Let's go to your new home. Aw, oh, who's a good girl? Ugh, with bad breath. What you need is this finger toothbrush. Add some toothpaste. And start brushing. Good girl. I accept payment in puppy kisses. Well, aren't we feeling jumpy today? Here, this should calm you down. Now for some relaxing oils. 
and a nice face roller massage. Next up, a gua sha scraper. It'll take care of any muscle pain. And who can say no to a manicure? Plus a nice soothing paw rub. A face mask? I guess it fits. And while you relax, we'll get lunch ready. You know, it helps to chew your food. Looks like you could use a challenge. Like this dog puzzle. We'll need to hide some treats inside. Okay, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Treat is Right. You win a snack. And another. And you take your time enjoying them. Finally, it's okay to play with your food. Wow, sand bottles. Squish them up. And it's like a day at the beach. It's also great for making paw prints. And if you want to make it last, fill it up with tiny treasures. Glitter. And pour on some epoxy resin. Pretty soon, you'll have something sparkly for your dog to wear. Aw, oh, I love you too, but just let me finish my nails. Okay, we need a distraction. Ooh, a rubber glove. Now fill it up with liquid and seal it up. Make a bunch and place on your pup for some hands-free petting. So we can get back to... Oh no! Looks like someone's been shedding. Don't worry, our lint roller ball will save the day. Works great on sleeves, so let's try the couch. Now everything looks store-bought new. Aw, he's sharing his toys with you. He must like you. Or he's just playing fetch. Extreme edition. We need something to hold them all. Like this inflatable pool. There's plenty of room inside for everyone. Careful, you'll tire yourself out. Or is that the idea? Well, as they say, <laughs> let sleeping dogs lie. It's getting late. Almost time for bed. Which reminds me, he needs a bed. First, let's get him off the floor. Get a laundry basket and some cut-up pool noodles. Lay them inside and add a blanket. And the final touch, a cute puppy. Oh, don't forget the bedtime story. Once upon a time, and they lived happily ever after. Hmm, 40 winks wouldn't be so bad. It's still early, so let's keep quiet. Never mind, but hey, free planks. Always fun to squeeze in a little woodworking. 
especially when making a doghouse. Seiko's gonna need a nameplate. And a potato? Ooh, a potato stamp. Dip it into some paint. And decorate the doghouse. Everybody raise a paw. Next, add some push pins to the sides. Tie some string around them, and you can make letters. D O G. Come on, Seiko. Oh, I think she likes it. Whoops. Yeah, I'd say goodbye to that shoe. You know, if you got any old pumps, grab some pipes. Add them together into a cube. And hang the old shoes on top. You know, Seiko's right. Shoes are fun. Hang some rope on the other side. We're making a puppy playground. Catch the ball, Seiko! Wow! Three for one! Oh, let's hang these up, too! And that's just the start! Come on, Seiko! Let's try it out! Now for the shoes! Ha! Huh, Seiko's gonna sleep good tonight! Oh, it's hot! Oh no! Seiko! You're panting! And dogs can't sweat! Well, mm, paw pads. Jeeves! Oh, a duvet cover? Lie it down on the ground. Now place a fan on its side. And blow it up nice and big. It's the coolest spot around, literally. Time to make some art. Ooh, Seiko wants to help. Hmm, it's not such a bad look. So why don't we make more paw prints? Scan them and hang them up at your house. He'll always know he's home. Yeah, I think Seiko's gonna like it here. But sometimes, all a dog really needs is just a nice new tennis ball. Not that all his new toys aren't cool. Ah, who am I kidding? New stuff's great! Oh, Ooh. trash day again? Whoa. Seems like we did this last week. Uh-oh, okay. the raccoons are back. Oh, wait, <gasps> that's no raccoon. Oh, what a cute little puppy. Ooh. And look, no collar. Good thing you already got this pet backpack on you. Aquariums. They're not just for fish anymore. Huh. There's not a lot of leg room, is there? With a backpack like that, he's ready to go into space. Right out of the case, and he's already got muddy paws. Oh, right. You found him in the trash. Well, a nice warm bath should perk things up. Or don't dogs lick themselves clean? No, wait, that's cats. How cute. A dog brush. And it even has a little place to hold your soap. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. This must be a dog's favorite type of bath. The kind that doesn't use any water. But it works. Mm-hmm. 
good thing. Otherwise, he'd be shaking the water off, and we wouldn't get this tender moment. Wow, he must be clean to be on the furniture clean. And now he gets his own wardrobe, too. Huh, a little big, but maybe he'll grow into it. Oh, wow, look at those nails. We need a manicure, hmm. stat. Sure, I've seen green nails before, but that was just paint. Why stop at the nails? Let's take care of that fur, too. Mm -hmm. Of course, the most important part of a beauty routine, canine or otherwise, is keeping clean. Cue the foam. Still, no true day of pampering is ever complete without some form of facial mask. Ooh. Hmm, what else can we do for our day of indulgence? Oh, good idea, some brushing. With a tongue? I repeat, isn't licking yourself clean more of a cat thing, not a dog thing, or a people thing? At least it seems easy to clean. Ah, now for a massage. Oh, and look, we've got a gadget for that too. First a nice neck rub, and then just work your way down the back. Hmm, does it work on people? Well, I guess you can after all. Though you should probably ask before using it. Mm -hmm. Time for dinner. Good, because I haven't eaten in like a whole hour. Mmm, a nice <laughs> salad. And the puppy gets... Mm, yeah. Just some kibble. And even he doesn't look too yeah. appetized. Maybe hmm. it's all in the presentation. Ooh. Let's cut along the lines. It's just like coloring. And we want some bend to it, so add some tape. Now everything's got a nice shape. But still, we don't want to show off something that looks like cardboard. Gold-colored paint covers hmm. all sins. Ooh. And so do a bunch of fake jewels. Just don't advertise the fake bit. Man, and all this just to host the dog food bowl. Speaking of which, can we jazz up the food here too? Great! Good boy. Look at him eating. All gone. Yes, it's true what they say. You reap what you sow. Wow. I wonder if that dog knows the goose that laid the golden egg. Anyone think they're related? Well, into the drawer. Oh, what's this? Oh, this hmm. looks like a collar. Huh? Just what our four-legged friend needs. But it needs something extra. Rhinestones are nice and all, but we want something personalized. And a photo will help show ownership. Well, looks like he's on a roll. Literally. He's gonna look so handsome with his new collar. Which means that it's the perfect time for a selfie. Give us a smile. Show us some teeth, but not in a show of dominance sort of way. Any other photo ideas? Let's make a fun border. Now pick a theme. Ah yes, the source of all happiness, money. Just don't use the real kind. Though by the looks of things, this new owner can probably afford to. Oh, he'll look so handsome in his portrait. Surrounded by Ooh. money. Just like Scrooge McDuck. Oh. After all this hmm. pampering, it's finally time for our puppy to relax. You better be planning a game of fetch taking mm -hmm. his ball like that. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. a golden bone. Let's hope it's not real. I mean, you could chip a tooth. Hmm, seems like enough fun for today. Oh. It's time to get ready for bed. Or instead, time for another craft. Hmm, with this mold, we can make a bunch of little jewels of different sizes and colors. Put them all together, and we can make a fun mobile. Like for a baby crib. Just hang it up, and he's fast asleep. 
Wow, I thought he would need a bedtime story or two. Let's cut back to daytime. Time for a fun dress up. And don't worry, just because dogs don't normally wear clothes doesn't mean they can't accessorize. Mm. Ah, adorable. Huh, he doesn't really seem to be a hat dog. Got anything else he'd like? How about hoodies? Well, the light up buttons have spoken. No, oh, but red is certainly his color. And it looks like he agrees. Just add some chains and some sunglasses, and he'll make Snoop Dogg look like Snoop Cat. Ooh. Let's see what other outfits he'd like to try. A white tuxedo? Does he look like James Bond? Hmm, maybe another color will do. Oh, he seems to prefer the more <laughs> classic black look. And it certainly seems to suit him. Oh, he's just so cute. What big eyes he's got. Time for another day of fun with your furry <laughs> friend. <laughs> what can be better than a puppy? Simple, more than hmm. one puppy. Ooh. And this one's so big, you just want to cuddle him up. And soon, there'll be even more puppies. In the meantime, our blushing bride wants some kibble. And maybe a steak or two. That was bow wow tastic! Yeah, I went there. Catch you next time! Careful, kitty! The cat catcher's on the prowl! Oh, won't someone save this cat? Don't worry, this girl's got your back. Now let's get you out of this net. And get you ready to see the vet. Okay, that doesn't look good. Maybe this'll help. Clear! Well, that didn't work. Wait, I think she's got an idea. It's time we unleash our secret weapon. Cat food. It just might do the trick. Hey, are you gonna finish that? Now that you're all better inside, let's fix you up on the outside too. Our special glove will do the trick. It's time for some serious petting. Ooh, look what the cat dragged in. Let's clean those dirty paws. This soap dispenser should help. Or at least make things a lot more fun. <laughs> Now it's time for a little brushing. But now let's put it into overdrive. And massage all your worries away. Honestly, pressure never felt so good. Oh no, your bracelet! What can we do with all these beads? Let's use them for a craft. Make a paw print. And place some beads inside. Keep it in place with some epoxy resin. When it dries, turn it over and dig. Kind of like looking for buried treasure. But our real treasure's right here. Snack time! 
Oh, looks like Mom's back. Aww. How do you want to explain the cat? <laughs> or better yet, should we put this banana peel to better use? Hmm. Nobody here except us bananas. <laughs> it's not the right time to introduce you two to each other. I choose you, Pikachu. Hey, isn't he a mouse Pokemon? Uh-oh, but it's all right. We can fix him. Just add some parts to an old tube. Ooh, Pikachu's gotten taller. Now wrap some rope around the tube. And don't forget his other parts. He's like a brand new scratching post. And I think he's ready for a new play date. Aw, now play nice, you two. What do we have here? A wood stick. Now let's add it to a wooden square. A nice hinge will keep it in place. Gotta keep it nice and secure. But now, we're gonna add some layers. Mm -hmm. Like a nice midsection. And now for the top floor. Hmm, it's a little hard. Let's get something soft. <laughs> like a bunch of pillows. Oh, look, they fit right in. What else can we use? Ah, curtains. Now let's make some cuts. And tie it around the structure. Pretty soon, you've got a new canopy bed. Ah, oh, this cat tree looks like a lot of fun. Ah, please tell me that's just juice. Ew. Well, that sock's seen better days. Ew. Hmm, that eh? mini toilet could be useful. Let's fill it up with kitty litter. and let our feline friend try it out. Well, I'll get the scoop. Ew. Hey, what's under here? Books! This'll come in handy as our new cat staircase. Of course, cats always land on their feet. Ooh, the cookies are burning. And while she's not looking, Luna's in the mood for chicken. Hmm, let's get you some lunch. Smear some food on this licking mat. That takes care of Kitty. So, who wants pizza? Oh no! That's your second favorite plant! Good catch! Here's an idea. Collect some old feathers. And add them to your shoes. Now you can keep an eye on Luna's playtime. It's time to start another day. Oh, can we borrow this towel? All we need is a little rope belt. Wow, everyone's so generous today. 
add it inside. Make twists and turns. And you've got a tiny hammock. All that's left is to hang it up. Let's make one for the cat, too. Time for a well-deserved snack. Uh-oh, that's gonna leave a stain. I guess we could just cover it up. Looks like the cat got to it first. We could just do the laundry. But this fur remover should do the trick. Now it's as good as new. Uh-oh! Oh, what is it with this cat and plants? It's okay. Add a sock to a glass. Fill it up with seeds and soil. Water it, and soon it'll grow. Wow, that was quick. Wow! Add some eyes. And now, it's your cat's new best friend. Or snack. Either way, this cat prefers food with a face. Aw, makes you wish you had a feline friend. Nothing a little scrolling can't fix. People save baby footprints. Why not do the same for your fur babies? And here comes the fun part. Breaking it all to pieces. Huh, this cat doesn't look like he belongs to anyone. So let's fix that. Make your shirt into a pouch. And bring him to your house. Which shall henceforth be his house. Cats usually clean themselves, but this looks like a big job. At least skin's easier to clean than fur. This looks like a job for one of our gadgets! A cat brush. And when you're done, look how easy it is to remove the hair which also makes it easy to use in crafts. After all, cat hair's better as earmuffs than on your couch. Huh? While we're at it, let's do something about those nails. <coughs> but why stop at just cleaning those nails? These clips fit right on. And think of all the money we'll save on polish. <laughs> wow, lipstick for paws. I would have just called it paw stick. <laughs> Good idea, a massager. You know, it's hard work being a cat. Yeah, he should feel nice and relaxed. Now how can we make this dinner table more cat friendly? Maybe this cardboard box can help. After all, cats already prefer the box to whatever's inside. And you can do no wrong with some colored tape. Look at all these colors. It's like a rainbow of tape. Ew. With this plastic bowl, we can make a window. If only it was this easy making a window into a bowl. Aww. What else can we add? <gasps> Honestly, I'm not surprised lawns are free. With all that hassle of mowing them, some people might even pay you to take it. Some free clothes just lying around could be useful. 
Ah yes, jeans. Like your skirt, but with legs. Let's stuff it up with some of these other clothes. And tie the legs up together like a pretzel. Our project is almost done. Just add the roof. And a few finishing touches, like these sticky notes. Place them down in a pattern like roof shingles. Oh. Hmm, what else is nice and sticky? Great idea, a sticker. We can personalize our furry friend's new home away from home. Is there <laughs> anything else a cat would like? <gasps> hmm. Hmm? These brushes will make fun self-groomers. What else do cats like? <gasps> clothespins? Do cats like clothespins? Okay, I see where she's going with this. A fish mobile. Furnishing a house has never been so delicious. Oh, and what a lovely picture frame. Excuse us, we're just gonna borrow this, too. Wow, this mat fits inside the frame. What are the odds? And now we have a brand new scratching post. This flower pot has a lot of space. Cut it open, and it's a perfect private makeshift litter box. Oh, water. Cats need water, too, right? Let's add a cat water fountain. Just add water. Wow. It looks like our fish mobile is yeah. getting nice and pungent. Do you have anything else we could add? These beads could add just the right touch. Let's just run some thread through them. This would make a great friendship bracelet. Wow! But now, tie up the excess string and cut. This way, it ends in a little pom-pom. Make different sizes for your new beaded curtains. <laughs> Next, let's cut up a hole in this stool. Add a plate right on top. And with the help of these silicone molds, we can fill it up with the best custom-made snacks. And just think of all these different flavors. She's got that look in her eyes. She's got ideas Ooh. for this traffic cone. We'll need to cut up this plastic bottle and add hot glue. Add some around the rim to soften things up. Add to the cone. And fill it up with even more cat treats. <laughs> of course, what's a cat house without a ball of yarn? Except we're gonna use it for our next craft. I wonder if this girl's ever played Cat's Cradle. I feel like it'd be right up her alley. Oh, these plush toys would be great for that net we just made. Of course, you can't have much of a cat house without a cat. Let's see how he likes it. Does he love it or does he love it? A free hat? Will these wonders never cease? He's having a lot of fun looking at stuff. And would you look at that, he's potty trained with an actual pot. Now to kick back with a nice snack. Some more snacks. The only thing better than having a cat is being a cat. 
Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Hello, Mr. Strawberry. Are you ready for your facial? Ooh, it looks like a beard transplant. Well, he always wanted to be one of those cool shaven cans. When it comes to peas, you don't need a whole pod. You can have tons of fun with just one. Hey, that rhymes. But what's really fun to play with is a balloon. Blow it up. You know, we can use it to make a pea pod too. Let's start out by making three. Now tape them together. For extra fun, let's draw some faces on them. Hey, my faces are still faces. Now give it a good squeeze. All the cats are coming out for this. What a pretty dolly. Let's give her a haircut. I was thinking a pixie cut, but bald is beautiful. Now let's trim some whiskers. Wait, hold on. We can whip you up a new weave. Be careful, you might feel a slight pinch. Ooh, who says blondes have more fun? Sometimes you just gotta think pink. Mm, cherry flavored. A plastic cup with nothing inside. What a waste of a good cup. So let's have some fun. Draw something on it. It's a tiny pair of shades. And look, they come in your size. Who says hole punches can only come hole shaped? Especially when you can get the gold star, among other prizes. Let's see how he looks with a few beauty marks. But why not save some for yourself, too? Enjoy your cat nap? Surprise! We've never looked better. And cats already look good, thanks to all that beauty sleep. As every cat knows, it's kind of hard to top a ball of yarn. But we're always up for a challenge. Let's add it inside a balloon. What else? Ooh, glitter. And some clear glue. Ooh, it's nice and squishy. What else can we try? Ooh, ice cream. It's got a nice smile, but let's give it a bigger mouth. Oh, it's nice and hollow. So let's squeeze our squishy ball inside. When it's ready, give it a good squeeze. Just because that one cat wore a hat doesn't mean they all do. All cats have their own sense of style. Some prefer to sparkle and shine. And also wear wigs. And don't you worry, there's plenty of sparkle to go around. Oh no! Cola is a terrible thing to waste! Careful, you don't want any sticky paws. Don't worry, just blow up a balloon. And deflate it into a brand new glove. You could just lap it up, but cats prefer milk. Hmm, you sure that bowl's big enough? Then again, you can't beat drinking straight from the source. We might not have the whole cow, so we'll settle for the others. Bubbles are so fleeting, so let's make a bunch. Here's an idea. 
Take a bottle and a straw. No, we're not blowing bubbles in chocolate milk. Especially since we're cutting them up. Place pieces of straw inside the bottle top. Use a rubber band to attach it to an electric fan. Now just give it a dip in some bubble solution. Time to turn on your DIY bubble machine. Ah, the artist at work. Let's add some red, yellow, blue. It's SpongeBob. <laughs> I knew that cat had good taste. Time for Sponge to meet Squeegee. Gotta love that underwater work. Our little archaeologist is hard at work searching for treasure. Just add a little water, not too much. Now time to air dry. Time for some elbow grease. I think cats have elbows, right? A running mouse? Let's see if it lives up to its name. Oh, look at it go. No wonder it's so much fun chasing him. I'm starting to understand where the term cat burglar came from. Just what is our furry little friend up to? Ooh, a balloon. I guess he likes it on the frosty side. It's like a pinata. Just scratch it open and collect your prizes. Congratulations. Careful, you might chip a tooth. Oh, now where's that blow dryer? Oh, even better, a hammer. It's time for a little smashing. Make that a lot of smashing. Careful, you don't want to break your stuff. What a good idea. We've still got ice left over. After all, I am feeling a little parched. Time to do a little gardening. Look at that cucumber. Let's clean it up. Keep it lined up. We're gonna start slicing. Or would you prefer to pickle it first? We're only cutting partway through for now. Flip it over so we can cut the bottom half. Why not? Keeps the board scratch free. Careful, we're not cutting all the way through, you know. Because it's much more fun to make a spiral. Hey, squash can come in spaghetti. And why should squash have all the fun? Catarific stuff. Catch you next time.